The fashion industry has become a critical component of the Nigerian economy, creating jobs and promoting creativity. Now, this industry, which also includes the beauty industry, rakes in an average of 500 billion naira annually. Now, in 2018, the economy had been fluctuating due to a drop in price of crude oil in the international market. But the local currency was relatively stable in 2018, with marginal price increase seen in the overall beauty and personal care industry. Now, this stability can be traced primarily to the rise in urbanization, the young population, and a higher number of young women in the formal work force. So you see, women had a thing or two to play. Now, women pay special attention to their looks, their, from their bags to their shoes, their hair, their makeup, and their nails. So in Community Reports this week, we turn our attention to the nail fashion industry. Now, this time, we're focusing on young men. That's young male nail technicians. They are making waves in a female dominated industry welcome to the show and victoria Ido. the hands is a unique part of the body it's used to hold that's why ladies pay special attention to their hands apart from manicure ladies also put some beauty by either fixing their nails or just painting the fingers the use of artificial nails and nail polish are trendy these days, and ladies can feel very attractive and confident. The notable benefit of getting this manicure done is that by the time you are completed, your nails are looking lovely and healthy. The community of people who are professional nail technicians are mostly ladies, as women themselves know what to do to create beautiful nails. For instance, in Lagos Commercial Nerve Center in Ikeja, southern Nigeria, a group of beautiful women station their nail polish in buckets and call for customers passing by. This group of women make a reasonable amount of money on a daily basis as they are not in want for clients. But in recent times, there is a growing community of men who have learned the art and are giving the women a run for their money. But then, these women remain confident in their craft as they believe the sky is big enough for everyone to fly. John, who hails from Edo State, started his training as a nail technician in Delta State. In the past six years, he has worked in this studio. Creating beautiful nails starts from taking care of the nails itself. Susan Adegbite is here to fix her nails. She's used John for the past four years and she's pretty confident he knows what he's doing. Today is not different from other times. John really knows what he's doing. He's one of the best and one of a kind. I haven't had have any issues with my nails since I started fixing my nails with him. Nails. Then file out. He's fixing the glass nails with the acrylic coating on it. Put it all the way to the end of the nails. If this, if the glue is not good enough or if the glue is weak and it falls off, everything is going to fall out. I have to cut the length to the, to the comfortable length that the client wants. So in case there is any other part, you always check at every stage. Then you can use your file to correct. This whole process takes a lot of time and requires lots of patience from both parties. When filing with a filing machine, a lot of care is required to avoid situations like this. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, the electric fire is very good, at the same time it's very sensitive. Application of the acrylic powder requires a level of skill. <laughs> to create the ombre effect, a bead is coated on the nails. 
your client also is not sitting and positioned very well, to be difficult for you to work effectively. So you have to make sure your client nails is free and your client is comfortable. And you too, you're sitting upright so that you can see from every angle what is going on, what you're doing, and to be sure you get the shape of the nails accurately. Some people are best comfortable from the base, so but I prefer from the tip so it can give me a very flat looking um, finish so when I have to file I don't do so much filing. Seeing a guy effectively work with his hands to create such beauty is impressive and Susan says she will always use a guy over a lady because they are patient and they listen. They take their time to do what you want and they don't have issues when you complain, they just listen to you. Okay, this is how you want it to be done. They take their time, that is it. They take things into details. Susan continues to say how she feels. Like now when they are cutting my hair, there is one of them that was here before. He used to cut my hair, there's no more hair. And when he finished cutting my hair, you see the way he massage the hair and all that. But nobody does that, and a female will do that. So um, you see when a female is doing a man's pedicure, you see the way he'll be doing the leg and all that. So I Sorry. think there is, I don't, I really don't know. <laughs> there is a thing to it. As Susan speaks her mind, she gets I this look from the other ladies in the studio. I didn't say you guys are not good though. And you said when I come next, they will say do my legs. They will tell me, you said John is better than us. So. <laughs> John continues the process. So this is where you make sure your shape is attacked. After almost four hours of watching, the little boy is exhausted. I'll do it here. Almost done. Where is my shirt? My skirt. Don't worry, I'm like, I'm going to... Well, now the process gradually winds down. Okay, so this is the final stage of um, acrylic process. Don't crash it once you're done. Now. Mm -hmm. Do it like this. Yeah. Aziz Olamileko inherited this business from his mom. His love for nails started while he assisted his mom some 15 years ago. I've been doing this business for quite a long time because um, it is my mom's business. So um, I used to be, we used to stay with her then. And then once we come back from school, we resume at her place. So we used to, I used to assist her too. And uh, my sister too. They are also into this business. So um, we started by helping customers to clean their leg, clean their nails, polish them before we started to like fix for them. So, and um, uh, if I should calculate the years now, I think um, over 15 years. His journey as a nail technician has not been an easy one, especially with getting customers. But then he says hard work and patience is a required virtue. For a startup, a fresh, a fresh startup, um, it's not easy because for you to bring customers, most of these people are where they used to make their nails before, so it's not so very easy. You have to be patient and hard working. There are different types of nails, but the French tips are the oldest and most popular. We have, um, what is it called, which is old, but people still do it, but not like before. It is called French tips. That is the old, one of the oldest pattern, one of the oldest pattern of nails that they do. Because um, then it is used 
for wedding anniversary or wedding this thing, stuff like that. But then, time has changed. There are new types of nails, designs and art becoming very trendy with fashionistas managing very long designed nails. Um, on that, it is called, um, you have, some people call it nail form. Nail form, yes. This nail form is what you apply, you put, place it, it's not fixing, you are not using glue. You use bond, you use bond, which is a, what is it called, which is like primer on the nails. You apply the form, huh? and you put, um, you can use gel. You can use normal aquarium to make your nail long without using glue. So once you put the form, you apply your 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 um, primer, then you build it out. It's either your acrylic or your gel. So there is a number there in which you you can stop at which length you think you want. Whatever length you are okay with, you stop. There is a number there. These nails need to be managed properly, especially because a lot of things are done with their hands, like eating. So, you have to be careful in what you do with your nails once you are fixed, once they are, once they are fixed, especially when they are long. Make sure you don't eat them because it hurts a lot. One, maybe you want to do something, you don't use your nails as instruments. For example, you want to open your phone, like you want to insert your SIM card, you don't use your nose. You look for something to do to open it. Those are the things that weaken the nose and the nail bed. Another issue worth considering before going through this fashion trend is how to get the nails off. We have different kind of ways to dissolve nails. One, you can dissolve them with dissolver so by soaking them. Two, so there is something now, it dissolves in like a five minutes, I think so. It's like a machine, you just put your hand inside. And in the next minute, maybe five minutes, they are off. Most of it are off. The rest, you just foul them up. In a business dominated majorly by women, having a man thriving shows there is something different the man is doing. Nails, some people think nails, doing nails is just a normal job, a manual job. See, nails now, no technicians generally, they are in the industry. You see, I was in the market one day and a lady came to me and she was like, you guys are the ones that have been taking our customers. I was like, why? Why would you say that? She was like, and they don't like doing nails with guys, with girls, ladies anymore. That they are looking for guys that will do their nails. I was like, okay, come, brother. This business, this Mm, this sky that you're seeing is very wide. Eh? Birds can fly without touching each other. Go and look at what you are not doing well. That the guys are doing well. Then improve on it. Customer relation. She. And guys tend to be more caring when attending to ladies because they are doing their work. They are doing their nails. They tend to pamper them. The relationship and the care, they like it more. Even when you are not doing, like you are not up to the standards, so they still want to come to you because they feel like when they are when they are with you, they feel like they feel welcome. Every business is embarked upon for the purpose of making money. In a business like this, certain factors determine how price is placed on services rendered. Once you are charging, you have to look at your area and the people around you and your clients you have to put everything in consideration so my nails is from five thousand it's acrylic nails from five thousand i have nails of ten thousand depends on what design i don't have a particular price depends on on what designs you are doing the more the design the more the price And Samuel Dixon hails from Cross River State. He started out as a barber, but then decided to venture into the nail industry after he realized he had great love for it. With stick-ons being the oldest, 
easiest and fastest type of nails. Samuel takes us through the process of how it is fixed with my hands as his model. Um, we'll do the cleaning first of all and then we'll push the nails and that's the processing first of all like making the tidy, making your foundation neat. That's the first thing when making a nail. So as at this process I'm just done doing the cleaning. So that I take any part, any oil particle on your nail so that the glue will add into your natural nails. A slight difference though, as it needs to push back the cuticles. You see, pushing back your cuticle will give you an extra space to stick your nails. So your nails are going to last for a long time. And you know, you use water all the time. So after pushing the nails now, I'm saying three to two days, it's going to relax back. But your nails are already there because when you stick your nails to the cuticle end, it's going to pull out when you start using water because water with your skin does not go with the glue and the nails. So for me to keep your nails um, perfectly done and um, to stay for a duration of time, a very long time, I have to push back your cuticle like this, all 10 fingers before I do any form of filing and all of that. Then the coast is clear. The nail extension are placed on the roughened edges of the nail bed. When you learn your nails well, so you know, every finger, because it depends on the client, because there are some clients that will come in and then this number will be nine, like the smallest, mm -hmm. you understand? So it depends on how okay. your nail bed is. Mm -hmm. So you just have to put it in mind that, uh, okay, any nail bed that's coming, but mostly you can just use three, three, two. Most of the time you can do six here, three, three, and then you do two here and then you use zero here. Mm -hmm. Depends on the... Like you just imagine this my own thumb ticking on it. I can't use one, I need to use zero. And it depends on how you can carry your nails. That's why most of the time I ask them, what length do you want? What shape, what size? How long do you want your nails? Are you comfortable with your nails? Trying to make them understand that yes, the more, because you know, um, when the nail is very long, it comes more beautiful. Mm -hmm. So people like when it's beautiful. I actually like doing long nails now. <laughs> As I continues to turn my nails around, we have a conversation ranging from the knowledge of new trends to acquiring more skills. Every day you have a new thing, new thing is coming out, a new design must come out. So you just have to also be open, like you need to check up on most of the trend design that's going all around. So because most of the time, how I do my own thing is um, I follow people who are good, uh, too, who are way good than me, like people in the US and all of that. So when I, they, are mo they motivate me to be more good. And also people, I also follow some kind of people that when I see their job, I'm like, okay, I'll correct myself as well. I, like when I see their jobs, I try to do something like that as well. The toenail has no need for special attention. No, there's nothing. You know, one thing is um, painting your toenails, which, you know, depends on how the toenails look, so you know the kind of color you're using for the toenails. There are some people who have hit their toenails and then they have injuries and their toenails are no longer good. So most of the time we do fix their toenails as well and polish it. Okay. To make advice on huh? Is that possible to fix your toenails? Yeah, it just depends on how, like, if you have issues with the toenails, not your toenails are properly good and they just want to fix them. Uh, it's not advisable. Actually, tell me what to do that. After the nail polish is applied, some embellishments are added. When a lady is done fixing her nails, the beauty can be seen from miles away. But then how functional are the hands? Like there are most of the things you don't have to do where, when you have your nails on, like trying to open the door, trying to use your finger to open the can, things like that. Um, also mind the way you use water, not just dipping your hand inside water all the time. So it also, because when water enters inside your nails, then you start seeing the green spot and start saying you have fungi. And it's advisable to do your refill every two weeks. Finally, my nails are done.
We meet Ahmed Ibrahim at his workplace in the heart of Ibutimeta. At the moment, he's fixing acrylic wrapping with natural nails. So we have been building it now for over eight months. We have been wrapping and then we we'll reduce the length when it's too long. We we'll cut it short and put acrylic on it. So for over eight months now, she has been carrying her natural nails with the treatment and everything I put. She's going to take it for three weeks and then she'll come back and wrap it again. The process requires a lot of feeling, filing and trimming. Like Then the preferred color is chosen from an array of colors. It's time to coat the nails. And each finger is designed for that classy look. This is rhinestone. We call this a crystal stone. Cortical oil, then a white um, gel polish to create an um, ocean wave. The whole process is watched keenly by two young men who will one day become professional nail technicians. Ibrahim advises them on what they need to start a business like this. You start from buying uh, nails, normal nails, uh, acrylic powder, the liquid, the fur, and puffer, then glue, and then Cuticle, remover, and then cutting wood. That's all you need for a start as a beginner. Once you buy that and you finish learning the beginner class, then you move to another stage. That's pro. That's the next stage you move to. After that, you move to the master class. Those ones, the master class include them designs and 3D different designs teachings and then the rest of it, like a new thing that you need to learn, that is what um, we do in master class. The nail industry is a thriving business that requires inflow of cash. We need government to understand what we do and then if they can just create a bank for us, then you can work into submit your proposal maybe after learning so you can like uh, you can get something like a startup loan if this is what you want to do because it's very difficult for us to walk into the bank now and explain ourselves to them. Most of them don't understand. You have to give them a reason, lie or tell them something else because they don't understand them. The business you're actually using the money for. Well, having a guy do your nails to say the truth can be different. So. Tell me, would you rather a guy or a girl? Send your comments to the social media handles showing on your screen. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I'm Victoria Ido. If you miss any part of it, you can catch it on our YouTube channel. Until I see you again, stay safe.